Grace and peace to you in the name of Jesus Christ. My name is the Reverend Emily Krauss Corzine. I'm standing here in the sanctuary of First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in Columbus, Ohio. I know that we have not been together for in-person worship in 15 months. Well, the deacons and council and our reopening task force have been working to make a return to in-person worship as safe as we can, following the most recent CDC and Ohio COVID-19 guidelines. We want to welcome you back to in-person worship here at First Church on July 4th. We will have both 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. worship services here in our sanctuary. For the month of July, both services will be held here in the sanctuary due to ongoing work in Parish Hall. We are excited to welcome you back to worship. There will be some who come who've never been here before. We will have people to greet you and welcome you to First Church. We're gonna ask that you sign in and leave your name and a phone number or contact information in case we need to be in touch with you. If you are fully vaccinated, masks are optional while you're in the building. If you are not fully vaccinated, we ask that you continue to wear masks. We know that there are children in our congregation who are under the age of 12. And we know that there are people who are immunocompromised. We want to be as safe as we possibly can as we welcome them into the building as well. So we're going to continue to do all that we can to keep people safe. And that includes remaining physically distant. And so we're going to rope off every other pew and have those reserved to make sure that we're keeping some distance. We're going to have signs that will make sure that you know not to sit in those particular pews. But if you are someone who wants to make sure you have a little extra space on either side of you for your own social distance, we're going to have cards that you can pick up when you, got, when you gather your bulletin, and you can put those on either side of you in your pew as well. On July 4th, at both services, we will celebrate the Sacrament of Communion. There will be separate and single serving elements um, to have for you. You will process up the center aisle as we normally would for communion, receive an element, the elements uh, cup and um, juice and bread and uh, receive those from a communion minister. And then you may return by the side aisle. We will not be sharing a common cup this time. There will be a time of reconnection and conversation outside after each worship service. We invite you to join in and say hello and greet one another, but we'll be outside to do that. We know that there are some of you who are a little uncertain about returning to in-person worship, and that is okay. We want you to know that we honor that and will welcome you whenever you feel comfortable to return. But please know that our live stream ministry will continue so you can still find us wherever you may be for worship, both on YouTube and our Facebook page. You can find us there. We know how exciting it is to come together again. We are thrilled to welcome you back. It will take a little bit of adjustment and things uh, and time to reorient to this space, to feel God's presence in this space together. And so we're gonna leave room f to be able to do that. I want you to know that we're gonna have a guest preacher on July 4th. We're excited to welcome the Reverend Dr. Jack Sullivan Jr., who's the executive director of the Ohio Council of Churches. He will preach the word on Sunday and join us for communion. We're excited to welcome him. We don't want to miss uh, the opportunity to be here and or to, to, to live stream to be with us in worship. We're excited to welcome you back on July 4th for the worship services at First Congregational Church or for you to join in on YouTube or Facebook where we can all worship together in a new way. You can find more information about our worship services at www.firstfc.org.
hyphenchurch.org. We look forward to worshiping with you together again on July 4th. May the peace of Christ be with you always.